Hi, my name is Alice and I work at Code.org. Today, we're calling on students from all over the world to learn one hour of code. We need your help to make it happen. Participating in the Hour of Code means doing a one hour computer science activity. It's for all learners, all ages, and is available in over 30 languages. No previous experience is required and activities are self-guided, empowering students to learn at their own pace. Students have already done over 100 million hours of code during Computer Science Education Week, and you can join the movement this December. This matters because the number of open computing jobs are growing a lot faster than students entering the field. And these are great jobs. Every young person should have the opportunity to learn these foundational skills, no matter what field they end up pursuing. Now, let's talk about how to host an hour of code itself. Step one, plan where you will do your hour of code. You can offer the hour of code on any device, including tablets, PCs, Macs, smartphones. Students can also take turns in your classroom using a shared computer or try a tutorial together on the board. There are even unplugged tutorials that can be completed without any computers at all. Unplugged options can be done anywhere, even outdoors. These activities are especially fun for groups and really illustrate the point that computational thinking isn't just about computers. Once you've planned where you'll be doing it, it's time for step two, picking a tutorial. We have over 20 different one-hour tutorials to choose from each introducing computer science in its own way. For all students from K through 12 and all learners of any age. For example, there's a tutorial that teaches you how to create an interactive card using the programming environment Scratch. Another one from Khan Academy teaches the basics of JavaScript, a popular programming language. Code.org offers tutorials that introduce computer science principles through fun puzzles and art featuring characters students love, like Angry Birds, Ice Age, Flappy Bird, Anna and Elsa from Frozen, and more. Check out the options and choose the best fit for your students. We encourage you to try your selected tutorial yourself before your class does it, so you can answer questions that might come up. And now you're ready to go to step three, coding. It's time for your students to do the hour of code themselves. Have them visit code.org slash learn and choose the tutorial you picked out. Students who finish early can try a different, perhaps more advanced tutorial, or help others. If you're doing an unplugged tutorial, pass out the materials and explain the rules. That's it. As you can see, hosting an hour of code to your students requires minimal prep and no prior experiences. 